I'm most excited about with Cloverleaf is the opportunity that we have um, post-funding to actually execute on the goals and the dreams and the strategies up to actually closing funding. Cloverleaf is a technology company that builds stronger teams inside organizations, primarily using their HR data that they don't know how to apply to the day-to-day -day work. I get so much out of working with a co-founder because we see the world very differently. And we don't want to create Kirsten's product, we don't want to create Darren's product, we want to create a product that's really valuable to multiple different types of people. Um, so having a co-founder is fantastic for bouncing ideas off of each other, finding holes in our own ideas, um, also, one of the greatest values of working with Darren is that he is relentlessly positive, and it's very hard to start a business in the Midwest especially, and so when there were days where, to me, all the signs were pointing to, this probably isn't gonna work out, Darren would just say, it's amazing what can happen when you just keep hitting the nail on the head, let's do it, and he was not even phased. Um, so that was incredibly helpful to me. I don't want us to create anything in our product for one user. I want us to create uh, things in our product that are really going to massively impact and create great value for uh, the wide base. I'm very adamant about coming back to why we are starting this business, why we are running this business, and what is the impact we want to create, more on the feel-good side and the emotional side, but also in the practical decisions about what's on our product roadmap. My favorite thing about the Cincinnati Tech community is that it's genuinely a deep community. So uh, my husband and I have tried to find real relationships in adulthood, which is just kind of harder to do um, than when we were kids. And the most authentic relationships I've formed as an adult are in the Cincinnati Tech community because we are doing something really hard and really worthwhile together and we can really understand each other's pains, we can genuinely celebrate each other's uh, successes and victories, and then we can also just talk through things with each other that we can't talk through at like a family gathering. Like my aunts and uncles have no idea what a lead investor is, but my friends in the tech community really do, um, and, and they really understand the depth of everything else that comes with that, so um, just having genuine friends who are really rooting for us and that we are also really rooting for um, and who are like proactively available to help each other. So um, I have a group of female founders that I meet with. There's six of us. We meet every other Thursday morning and just talk about what's really happening um, and we really celebrate each other. We really literally cry together. Um, we just go through the whole thing together and um, it's been truly something that has not only helped my business but I believe has actually helped me grow as a human um, through the struggles, not to, not to get bogged down by things but actually to grow through the process. One way the powder keg community might be able to help is uh, just sharing real stories um, with real details about what people have experienced that they learned hard lessons from because um, the more of those stories I hear, the more pitfalls I can actually avoid. Um, whether that's is the legal structure of your business or it's how you hire or anything along those lines, um, how to prioritize product roadmap, all of these questions um, we're learning and we learn a lot better from other founders' stories.